uh, we're back on components for this 93 Arlo 100 RS today. Uh, it needs a fuel filter and lines. The fuel lines, I think I've documented earlier, are all freaking cracked and brittle. Whoever put the quick disconnects on, put them on the same freaking way for both lines. You should reverse them so it only goes together one way. These are not correct and leaking. Um, this shouldn't even have that kind of clamp here, but at least it's a fuel injection clamp, as opposed to the inside of the tank. Holy fucking shit. Screw band type hose clamps, which cut into the fuel line and can actually cause the fuel line to rupture. And you can actually see the brown, orangey shit around the fuel filter. Fuel filter's falling apart, um, which means it's probably a very old one. BMW had an issue way back with the filters with the big BMW emblem on them. Um, the fucking ends have RTV silicone on this end cap. It falls apart. It gets inside. My K1 ended up with about a foot and a half worth of long stringers of orange silicone shit running through the fuel injection system which caused it to only do 80 until the filter was replaced we got more freaking anyway all these clamps have to be replaced this fuel line is going to be replaced fuel filter and they didn't even clamp these the vent lines <laughs> what a freaking mess what a freaking mess it's incredible to fucking piss poor fucking work some people do Screens torn open. Not that it makes an enormous difference, but yeah, you can see that fuel filter better now. And uh, how old is that piglet? Hey, look at that! It's got the big emblem on it. That's a freaking original. There should be a date on here somewhere. Probably rolled over onto the other side. Just curious while I get the video rolling. See if we can see a freaking date. That's got to be a fucking old filter. It's got to be early mid 90s. Maybe even be original. Hey, look at that. The 7th of September, 1996. Yeah, beautiful. This poor bike. Uh, we'll be taking care of that with a fresh filter. And screen, I may just close this up with a couple zip ties. And uh, that'll be fine. So, that's it. And the bike itself is at the welders, getting the time cert. TIG welded into place and uh, hopefully we get that back today so we can get back to work on that and try to get this bike done. Safety wire. They were worried it was going to fall apart. They were worried the clamp was going to move, not that it was going to fall off. That's fucking silliness. Somebody had way too much free time on their hands apparently. That's it.